Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 59 of Europa Universalis IV as Arabia. Apologies that it's been a little while since I've put out an EU4 video. As you all know, I'm sort of quite busy preparing for a trip to PC Gamer Weekender, which I'm organising for the company I work for, so that has been taken up quite a lot of my time. And I've also been trying to keep on top of my uh, CK2 videos as well, so I have forgotten a little bit of what I was uh, doing. I'm just having a look, look around the map. I do see that I have some units here taking attrition, which is not a very good thing. You don't have a leader at all. I'm sure we have a spare one uh, somewhere that we could be using uh, for you. Someone with a bit of manoeuvre. Uh, maybe Afro. Maybe we get Afro over in uh, this group. I'm not too sure which uh, group he was leading before. Um, there was probably one. Looks like it was probably this one, uh, but that should be fine. Uh, so basically, we've got quite a few groups here. What I'm trying to do at the moment is, uh, oh, that is a, a big, a big army right there. That is a very big army. Uh, what I'm trying to do at the moment is um, wait mostly until my overextension is gone. If we can get rid of the overextension, we can end this war. Uh, what I had decided in this war, what I wanted to take were these three provinces. Um, because basically I want to stop Spain from expanding. Uh, what I also need to do, really, is take this province as well. Now, the reason for that one is because there's a shared sea zone. If I don't take this one, because Spain owned Tangiers and Ceuta, well, everything in the Straits of Gibraltar, they can still fabricate down here, and I prefer them not to be able to fabricate, so that makes it a little bit more difficult for them. So we're going to be taking that one as well. Now, in the meantime, I do need to be careful and watch these troops down here. Um, I think this army, you're actually heading back. I think I'm going to bring you down this way because they do have quite a lot of troops, which I can probably beat quite easily if I'm honest. But not having to deal with them would be better. You're heading down there to deal with those guys. You are heading down there to unseage that. So I think mostly all of these units are doing what we want them to do. Now, where are we heading with you? We're heading down into this fort. I'm guessing at some point at least this was a 40 stack, probably. So if we can get this fort, we will be reducing their uh, ability to move around. Now then, a few things that I do want to do, uh, because I noticed that I'm not doing them. My diplomats are all free, so we definitely want to get some more claims over here. Um, Ragusa, who do you have a relationship with? Bohemia, Genoa and the Papal States. Hmm, so you're not entirely free. So what we could do... In fact, we could fabricate on Ragusa if we wanted to. We do share a sea zone with them. Um, I see that um, Hungary are actually over here attacking them anyway. But let's go ahead and... Um, sure, let's fabricate a claim on that. And let's even get this one. That, where, where's the gold mine, actually? That's not the gold mine. Sophia is copper. I thought they had a gold mine somewhere. We've probably already got, got one. But let's go ahead and sort of get claims on some of these where we can. Uh, again, we would like to try and take some of the coast. We can't get any more claims. Where is the gold mine? Where is um, trade goods? No. Uh, economic trade goods. Gold mine's actually here. It's Kosovo. So, yeah, it would be nice if we could grab that gold mine. I thought there was at least one gold mine that we had. We must have a gold mine somewhere. We must do. Oh, we've got a couple down here, but yeah. Okay, fair enough. That's a good point, actually. Considering we've got gold mines, what is the state of the inflation? It's getting pretty high. Um, it's not over two. We'll wait till it gets close to two, then we'll bring it down. Our income's still good. So we don't have to worry too much about the money. It's just the negative events. Right. Uh, let's just have a quick look what I'm doing over here. Uh, this guy on his own. You're going to go and siege that. It's the only province that is left. Not too sure that these guys are going to try and slip past. They may do. What we could do... Uh, we don't actually have a lot of military points. How many generals do we have? What is our military tech? So we're well ahead of time on military tech. Uh, our military points are coming in. So we've already got six or four leaders. I really don't want to go over that anymore. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got seven armies, really. 
Um, let's go ahead and ha Oh, you're actually moving there, are you? Well, let's go and take that fight. In fact, let's just go and force march in just to make sure we catch you up. What's going on down here? Because we didn't actually manage to grab these guys. We're sort of chasing them around a little bit, but not actually getting them. So let's make sure we keep our eye on that. So it's just a matter of keeping things... Oh, are we going to catch you here? Looks like we might do. I'm going to try and bring in a 7 stack behind us. It's not really going to help them. Yeah, the, even though they've they've got numbers. I mean, not in that stack, but they have got numbers close by. Their numbers really don't help them. Uh, because their tech is just so low. Let's go and turn that off. Um, can we catch them here? No, we can't. So let's go and catch them here. Looks like they're still going to try and move in. At least some of the army. They're moving in with a 7.4k stack, which we will catch. So let's go and take that out. I don't want to give open borders to uh, Bohemia. Don't want to make it easy for them to protect people. Uh, we can't get into there on time. So let's just go straight back down to Timbuktu and try and siege that out. So we just want this over... This overextension is actually going away. We need to get rid of most of it, though, before we can actually attempt to do this. Uh, this one stack actually belongs with this army, so let's get him back there. No, he doesn't actually. He's just a mercenary. Forget I said it. Let's go and disband him. We don't need him anymore. Okay. So, we'll try and siege that out again. I'm not going to spend military points on it. It's not worthwhile. Uh, you're trying to come in with another group from behind. Let's go and put a stop to that. You are moving into Mora. You are locked, so that'll be a stack wipe there. And in fact, it'll be an overrun. Excellent. Good stuff. Let's start. Is that Florence? Florence it is. Starting to get to the point where I'm recognising the flags again. I actually don't think I need this 40 stack now. I brought them down here because I thought I would do, but I just I don't think that I do anymore. So let's go and take you back up onto the Ottoman border. What's going on here? This is the Ottomans at war with Hungary still. So some of this might get lost to Hungary, which is a possibility. Um... It would be nice to go and do some damage to Ragusa. We can do that. Now, we do have free diplomats, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be over here um, fabricating a claim. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, start building a spy network. Because it would be nice if we could get some of their coasts, especially Ragusa. If we could grab Ragusa, because and we, we can get a claim on Ragusa. If we could grab, like, Kosovo, Zeta, and right um, Ragusa, that would be really good for our trade control. Uh, so we definitely want to try and have a go at that. Uh, we still can't do anything against these guys because you're guaranteed by Russia. Uh, Kuma. Which one is Kuma? Yeah, so we've actually got a mission here. Russia, how many men do you have? Armies. Russia has less than half of what I do. We could beat Russia in a fight quite easily, I think. Quite easily. Let's try and deal with one war at a time, though. We definitely have some manpower issues, so we don't want to. Uh, we don't want too many problems with that. Rebel factions, Ethiopian separatists is at ninety percent. That's fine because we do have a. Uh, we have an army down here. Can you go and stand somewhere where you're not going to get attrition, though? That'd be good. Peace offer from Morocco. Uh, there will be peace. Some of our overextension has gone away. We're still at 64%. Um, some more of it is about to go away, so we will wait for that. There's absolutely no point whatsoever in us trying to take this um, fort. We really don't need to take it. But it would be nice if we could just win a few more. I mean, we could probably... Right, there we go, actually. Let's just end the war here and save us having to even uh, spend the manpower uh so a quick look at that again 34 percent. yep so we can easily deal with this so we want those provinces they will give it to us it's 35 percent overextension do you have monies you have quite a lot of monies actually wow you guys are loaded how much money do you guys have you've got five and a half thousand Do you know what? I take it back. You've got that... I, don't, I mean, I don't need that much money, but wow, if you've got it, I'll take it. 
Let's go see if we can get some more war score against them. You guys are actually sort of giving up there, aren't you? Let's come back to Timbuktu then. What we could do... Don't need to give mil f uh, military access to Venice. Who else is in this war? Um, if we can get everybody else out... Right, Ben in. Sue for peace. Would you give us anything at all? No. But we can white piece you out. Okay. So Benin is out of this war. Kanan Burnu. Uh, are we paused? Yes. Sue for peace. You don't well, you don't want peace. Someone had low enthusiasm. Uh, it's Mali. Uh, well, if Mali get out, that really screws things up for everybody else. So let's get them out. Sue for peace. White peace. Okay. Excellent. So now that just leaves Ken and Bunu in. Now they may decide to get out due to the strength of the alliance dropping. Now there is a call for peace, but we have just drastically increased our um, war score because we've got the other people out here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get this siege done real quick, actually. Let's go ahead and, and just spend the points and get the wall breach. Now then. Uh, Ken and Bunu, are you willing to get out of this yet? We've got no diplomats. They've all been sent off to, to deal with this rubbish. Somebody's back. You're still not willing to get out. That's quite unusual. Your war enthusiasm is still medium. Morocco's is as high as it possibly can be. Um, I mean, we could march through... We could march through with this and start trying to siege your stuff. It, it would probably help. So let's go and do it. In the meantime, we've only really got one fort that we need to grab from Morocco. I really don't like that they keep trying to get a unit behind me. Let's let's keep one unit behind just to maintain the siege. Uh, let's wait until they are movement locked, right? And then we'll go and beat them over here. So the siege isn't going to continue, but at least we won't lose our progress. So just leave, even if you leave just a zero stack behind, it'll do it. Okay, we have a um, a rebellion over here. 45k, that's a pretty big rebellion. Let's go and grab um, Hardan, because he's a pretty good uh, general. Uh, let's go and put Hardan over here. You go in and fight those guys. That was a big rebellion. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so we should win this battle quite easily. Ken and Bunu were going to come in and help with that, and then they suddenly went, yeah, no. Uh, could we force March and catch them? No, so let's not bother. Let's go back to sieging. Meanwhile, we are moving in down here to go and start doing some sieging on them. We won the fight against the revolt. Lost 10,000 men, which is unfortunate. Uh, but you guys can do the uh, drilling now, actually. Uh, did we manage to get our drill back up to 100%? Yes, we did. Our, our professionalism, I should say. Right, you're going to go back to drilling this army. Uh, what are we up to? 94%. That's probably almost enough to take everything we want from them. Let's go and try this again. Um, yep, they would actually give us all of their money and the provinces we want. Excellent. That's a lot of money we just gained there. Fantastic. Uh, this army's black flagged. You're going to hang around here just in case you have to deal with any rebellions. I'm assuming you probably will. Okay, good. So that is another war over. How? Oh yeah, we've got some coring to do because that's all we ever do, coring. Let's have a quick look at our... Oh yeah, we've also got that other army down here in Ken and Bornu. You guys... We've got one army down here that can deal with the rebellions. So this other army can come up here. Let's get everybody back up towards Russia where they're going to be useful later. Uh, Royal marriage offer from Kilwa. Do we currently have any relationships with Kilwa? Um... This one, Diplomacy, My Own Nation, Kilwa. They are a vassal, as is Bipus, um, or Biapus, leading vassal. So Kilwa, yes, we do want a royal marriage with you. And we don't have one with Bipus either. We should probably get one. Royal marriage. Not an awful lot of reason to want to integrate them straight away. Kilwa, though, possibly. Um, are you at war with somebody? Why, why are you on the march here? You're not at war with anybody. Um, we don't have enough... Right, let's go and improve relations with you. And then we can start working our way down here and grabbing the rest of this stuff. Some of this stuff does belong to Spain. 
So we are we are getting down towards Spain now. Uh, I mean, we could what we could do as well is we could actually pick up. Um, we could start colonizing if we wanted to. That's certainly not completely ridiculous. Move towards legalism or move towards mysticism. Let's just keep moving towards legalism. We're probably at 100%, to be honest. Oh, no, we're not actually. Quite far off. Are we making any progress on these? Yes, but it's painfully slow. Let's cancel them. Just because we've got others that would be a lot faster. So let's go and work on these ones instead. Religious unity is still over 100% though, so that's fine. So we might go and try and get this mission done. Russia's actually at war with France, so this is quite good for us. Uh, the Ottoman-Hungarian war is still going on. So that's fine. But yes, this could be a good opportunity to go to war with Russia. So I'm going to try and move all of these armies back. How are you still taking attrition there? Is there anywhere you could be? Right here you wouldn't be taking attrition. So, Because that's not good. I'd feel a lot better if we could get rid of some of these rebel factions, particularly the Ethiopian separatists. Can we get our claim on Ragusa yet? Oop. Um, well, we've actually... No, not quite. Did I send somebody there? Did we get caught? No, but we are still working on it. 13.15. We've still got a free diplomat. Makes sense to keep one free. Uh, what have we got here? The bourgeois are looking for privileges. So we could lose some admin power. And the merchants gain some loyalty. The admins lose some. Let's have a quick look because we haven't really done an awful lot with them in a while. Uh, yeah, they do have a lot of loyalty. Just don't really want the military power. A general with 40 tradition is worse than what we would get anyway. Additional levies would be nice, but their influence isn't high enough. Um, let's go ahead and have them drop some loyalty and have the merchant guilds gain some. Because then we could get something from here. Not that we really need anything. We've got a ton of money. We should definitely be building some more stuff. Um, universities could be useful. I'm trying to remember what universities actually give you. Just cheaper development and more buildings. I don't really need them. Um, town halls give us monthly autonomy change and state maintenance. Again, don't really need them. Uh, taxation is good. Anywhere that gives us a little bit of money. Couple of places we can get some coin. Not that we're really short, so it doesn't matter all that much. Production, training fields, conscription centres. Not too bothered about the force limit, but the manpower modifier might be useful. So anywhere that we can sort of significantly increase our manpower... That's a lot of money we've just spent, but this will really bump our manpower pool up. So, yes, let's move some people into a position for a war against Russia. Make it a quick one if we can, because they seem to be busy with other things. So let's go ahead and move some of these armies up here. Could even probably move this army up here as well. So stop drilling. The Ottomans aren't going to attack us for a while. The Ottomans are too busy to... Oh, I was saying. Uh, Coruscant is requesting that we come to their aid against Tran... Oh, I thought I'd paused. No, I was paused. Um, quarantine the port. Right. Uh, against Tran... Transoxy, you know, the war they have started. Transoxy is with Afghanistan. Right, this is actually a war that we do want to get involved in because... We would like to... So we're at war with these guys. But we'd also like to grab the stuff that we want from Afghanistan. So we're going to get down here and we're going to try and get into Afghanistan. That's what we want to attempt to do. Uh, and we want to try and... We want to concentrate on sieging out stuff from Afghanistan. We could still get in this war with Russia. But I don't really want to do that just yet because we... we these guys could start coming through. So that could be a little bit risky. So we're going to go and start fighting Afghanistan. That's what we're going to do here. So I do have some... 
Um, not claims, but I do have some interest in some of these provinces. What are we focused on? Mm, we're focused on admin. Do we want to be focused on admin at the moment? We, yeah, we probably do. We'll leave that as it is. Um, I wanted uh, a screen that I can no longer find. This one, um, diplomatic feedback. Uh, that's for the Ottomans. I want for my own nation. Right, so I've got claims on basically all of this. Uh, I have no interest in these provinces, apparently. Um, but yeah, I, I want to go and um, sort of work my way up. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. We just want to try and take as much from these guys as possible. Now, I think what I might need to do is I'm going to bring this army down and just try and stop them, uh, stop a... Afghanistan from squeezing any armies through on this side. Everyone else is going to go up ready to catch anything that might come this way around. Let's send that one up there because you've got the um, you've got the general, so you're in a slightly better position. So we are going to be getting involved in a few wars here. So people are marching and it's going quite slow. But we are over the 20 minute mark, so it's probably a good place to end the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as Arabia. I will see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.